Hey guys, all of my braids are out of my head. You want to see how I do this? Just continue to watch. I just have this small patch of hair to take down. It took me 12 days to take down my hair this go around, so I could not sit on camera and show you guys the entire process. I already have a video made on how I take down my natural mini braids. And here I'm showing you how much new growth I have. And also, when you're taking down your hair, your hair will grow together. So you need to be careful with the strands that also connects one braid to the next because that's how you can get breakage if you're not careful so I just start from the bottom slowly just working my way up unraveling my hair when I am installing my mini braids I make sure that I don't borrow hair from the opposite section so that also saves me from getting breakage here I'm showing you the buildup that connects the new growth to my braid. So in order to get this buildup off the hair, all I do is do a pinching pulling motion and the shed hair will release. And like I said before, I have another video on how I take my braids down if you want slower, further detail. But I just wanted to give you a quick update. So I just moved to the next braid. And now I'm just going to finger detangle my hair while it's dry. Just gently pulling at the ends of my hair. Trying to release any shed hairs that I didn't get through the 12 day process of taking my hair down. It's just removing any shed hair possible. I go through four different processes of removing shed hair after I take down my natural mini braids. The first step is the initial taking out the mini braid and removing the shed hair from the single braid itself. The second shedding step is what I'm doing now is just finger detangling my hair dry. The third step is putting conditioner in my hair and finger detangling my hair with conditioner. And then after four days of letting my hair rest, I will go back in and brush the rest of the tangles out of my hair gently, starting from the bottom, working my way up to the scalp. I will make a separate video on that later, but right now I'm just showing you how I apply the conditioner to my hair and how I still finger detangle with conditioner. And I do already have a video on how I install my natural mini braids. So it's still the same process. Even though time has went on, I still blow dry my hair straight first um, with shea butter. And then I go in and start braiding my hair. So after I feel like my hair is pretty well saturated with the conditioner of my choice, so you can choose any conditioner you like, I follow up with olive oil to lock in the moisture. Just working in all the conditioner and the olive oil, just doing a light finger detangling, pulling at the ends of my strands just making sure I just remove any extra shed hair that I possibly can before I leave my hair alone for four days and when I am doing this finger detangling method it takes me about 40 minutes to thoroughly and gently finger detangle my hair like my fingers are wrinkled by the time I get finished detangling my hair because my hair is wet and everyone knows when your hands are really wet for a long time, your fingers wrinkle. Um, if I didn't say before, I left my mini braids in this period three months and a week. That's how long my braids was in, three months and one week. Not including the takedown process time
naturally marked here I just want to come on here really quick just to give you guys an update on how I take down my natural mini braids um, changed it no longer takes me three days to take down my mini braids it actually takes me anywhere between 10 to 15 days to take down my mini braids and I lose a lot more hair than I did back then because I have more hair on my head um, and now because it doesn't just take me three days I take my hair down still starting in the back working my way up to the front but after I get done with about four days of taking my mini braids down the part that's left down I will put conditioner or some type of oil on my hair so that it doesn't um, dry out as bad anymore but I've already taken down my whole hair um, this is how much hair I lost with detangling it, finger detangling it with my fingers, obviously, finger detangling. And for all of you that's like, why do you have so much conditioner? This was a brand new bottle of conditioner and it's empty. Like, the whole thing is completely empty now. I will go through almost... A bottle and a half of conditioner on my wash days now and if you guys don't know I apply my conditioner to dry hair because I just don't see why I would just apply it to wet hair uh, for me I feel like if the sponge is dry and then I soak it with something hydrating it has more benefits if that makes sense so I literally just got done taking down my hair and I'm so tired. And this is how much hair I lost while taking down my hair over the 12 day process. 12 days. That's like a whole nother head. So this is roughly how much hair I lose and I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna have some hair to be lost over the next couple of days but I do not um, do anything to my hair I will literally actually I can just show you I pretty much just put a plastic cap on my head with um, my silk rag but this is pretty much what I do to my hair I will leave my hair alone for at least four days I will not put I will not wash my hair so I will not use any shampoo or anything like that because I've already previously done that before I started taking down my braids and um, my hair like this like if I feel like it's getting dry all I have to do is just spray a little water on it because I have so much conditioner in it just to reactivate the conditioner but I will not manipulate my hair at all for like at least the first four days to about six days just because my hair has been through so much with me taking it down and finger detangling it I just like to moisturize my ends as much as I can every night I will go to sleep with this on my head with my scarf on too but yeah I've done so much to my hair I just pretty much leave it alone for like the next couple of days and then I will find some style to put it in you guys I don't really know how to do style so it will probably be a ponytail a bun more than likely and that's about it um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video.